Hello and welcome to Noggin Comics. We're I'm back. Kyle. Oh, and I'm Nora. <laughs> and like she said, we're back. Uh, this video, we're going to be talking about the five independent comics coming out in December. Yeah, from the previews. From the previews. That uh, we are looking forward to. Uh, and hopefully this is something that we do monthly now. Yeah, we're uh, just a little bit behind. Um, <laughs> yeah, because the next previews we'll probably yeah. get this week. <laughs> Let's hop right into it. The very first publication we're looking at is Image Comics. Yes. The one that stood out to me the most is called Hexware. It's a six-issue miniseries from Tim Seeley and Zulema Scato Lavino. It's basically about um, witches and magic and hedge magic. And yeah, I'm sold. It says the magic order meets do androids dream of electric sheep. So it's witchcraft and sci-fi. You know who wrote that, right? Yeah. Tim oh, the, uh, yeah, that's Philip K. Dick. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, sci-fi, magic, witches, sold. Yeah, that's all you, basically. <laughs> I mean, I like, the art looks pretty damn good. Um, yeah. It actually looks really good. Uh, I might give the issue a try. Yeah, I'll see. But. So, look, looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a miniseries. Yeah. So. Uh, and then my pick for this, uh, for Image Comics, is it's a two dollar comic. So that's the reason. First, mm. I'm like, ah, skip that one. Uh, <laughs> it's a two dollar comic by yes. Mark Millar and Juanan Ramirez. Uh, it is called uh, Nightclub Number One, and if I recall correctly, this is part of Mark Millar's um, Netflix deal. So it may become a Netflix, yeah. a Netflix, Netflix show. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, the premise is you're 17, bitten by a vampire. What would you do? And the yeah. cover is these vampires in a cemetery. Now, this guy just jumping on the houses on top of a rooftop, wearing luchador masks. And that's all I had to see <laughs> to get intrigued was luchador masks, vampires, $2. Yeah, one ninety nine for six issues. So yeah, sold. He basically, is kick ass meets Circus de Freak. I'm on it for that one. Circus de Freak. So, you know what Circus de Freak is? Yeah, it's a, uh, it was a movie and a comic. That kind of a book. Yes. Okay. And then this one, this one you're gonna mm -hmm. talk about is oh, yeah. from uh, Boom Studios. Yes. So, returning from. Her uh, really good miniseries, Eat the Rich. Which is really good. It's, yeah, that's what I said. Oh. Um, <laughs> Sarah Gailey is writing Know Your Station. So it's a five five issue miniseries written by Sarah Gailey and then illustrated by Liana Conga, I believe. So it basically is what if the wealthiest people left Earth to take sanctuary in space and then a murderer was set free and they have to kind of survive and escape the planet that's doomed. Um, so yeah, it looks really good. Um, it's, yeah, I was already sold when I saw that she was writing a new series. So, I still have some of her novels to read, but... Well, then, even, it, it says in previews, it says that it's for fans of Night House on the Lake and Aliens. Yeah, Alien, yeah. So, yeah. basically, so, it's like, you're, you're hooked in right there. Yes. Um, then we're gonna jump to Dynamite Comics, which is... We never talk about dynamite. Ta -da! This... Uh, Gargoyles number one by Greg Reisman and George Cabadis. George Camadias or something. Camadias. Yeah. Uh, George yeah. Camadias. Um, sure. Sure. Um, <laughs> basically, from just the cover of the previews, I knew we were gonna be getting gargoyles. I grew up watching gargoyles. Gargoyles. Um, so the art looks really good in this yeah. um the one thing i know that i'm gonna be doing the entire time reading is hearing uh keith david's voice as goliath the whole time uh nora's doesn't know what i'm talking about she didn't watch the uh, i've watched a, a watched few. one episode a few i watched gargoyles <laughs> as a kid and i remember it being one of the shows that captured my attention and imagination so much so this is the same artist that did um it's a boom little mini series called buckhead yeah, and that's really good. And I yep. think they're also the uh, same. The same artist is also doing, and we have not been reading it. The 
John Carter from Mars from Dynamite. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why he got this gig, too. Um, wow, I'm boring you, huh? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the Dynamite one, just because it's Gargoyles. There's a bunch of covers, and they all look really good. Um, yeah, this might be your introduction to... This might <laughs> be the introduction into Gargoyles for you. Yeah, I'm going to read it. Um, but yeah, the next one, I think the last one we were going to talk about is the super Sword, indie yeah, comic. Yeah, it's, uh, Sword, well, uh, Can't speak. Source Point Press. Uh, it's the Curse of Cl uh, Cleaver County. Um, and this is very much, uh, this is keeping in line with that horror mm -hmm. marathon that we did in October and about well, all year, basically. Yeah, we read horror comics all year. Uh, this is actually written by Garrett Gunn, who was doing Good Boy... Little, Ro Little, Little, Little Red Ronin. And so, him doing something that is a horror double feature. One shot. Uh, that's a one shot, but like, also it says the introduction of a new character. Yeah, it's so a... So, it's like... It says it's a limited edition double feature. So... Yeah, they said expect... Uh, what we're expecting from this series is gore, somewhat hilari hilarity, and gruesome action. Yeah, it says in here, grotesque, gruesome, gore-fueled killers as they haunt, horrify, and harrow the peaceful residents. Yeah, if it's anything like Good Boy, A Little Red Ronin, you know this is going to be a very unique, interesting story. Yeah, I guess so. we'll see how horrific it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, let us know uh, what you're looking forward to in December, uh, well, for the independent comics at least. Um, yeah, I know. Like vicious cycle is another one that we the uh, vicious circle is another one we could have talked about. Leaping Mihu is on. Oh, SDR. and the boom. That's the boom studios one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maniac in New York is coming back, and then Grimm uh, starts again. I think. They're Grimm, starting, yeah. yeah, they're starting that up again. Um, and then Pandora. The Book of Slaughter. Uh, Pandora. Uh, Fr Frank Miller's new publication. Mm -hmm. uh, that's got uh, Emma Kubert on that. But besides that, I mean, these are the five books that we wanted to, uh, we were looking forward to in December. Yes. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and see you at the comic shop. Bye!